it's going to melt, okay? Melting is what we call phase change. Go ahead and hit the next thing, all right? So um, in this example, which I'm showing you the water cycle here, we have evaporation, which is where you're going from a gas, um, that, or rather a liquid, as in water, like a body of water, like the Gulf of Mexico, um, over to a gas, which would be water vapor. Water vapor is in our atmosphere. We can't see it, but it's there. Um, and then um, let's say that it snows. Snowflakes are solids, okay? But just like an ice cube, snow melts, doesn't it? Okay, so it goes from being a solid to a liquid. Just like this ice cube is going from being a solid to a liquid. Water, water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> And so, obviously, the temperature in here is above 32, and that's why that ice cube is melting. Um, but there are some other different phase changes that go on that you don't really hear about at your age, but as you get older and you start taking more harder science classes, you'll start hearing things. One of them is called deposition. The other one is called sublimation. Okay, Sublimation is actually up here on the screen, but it's where you go from a solid to a gas. So, unlike an ice cube that's composed of water. <laughs> Unlike an ice cube that goes from... <laughs> this is like those people talking in your ear when you're trying to tell people the weather at home. Uh, when it goes from a solid to a liquid, okay, we call that melting. But sublimation is going from a solid to a gas. And so what I've got here is, okay. Now that looks like, that looks like an ice cube, doesn't it? Okay. But it's, it's not an ice cube, it's not composed of water, and it's called dry ice. And it's called dry ice for a reason, because it doesn't melt, okay? It sublimates. Now, dry ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide. Okay, you know what carbon dioxide is? It's like trees breathing. Okay, right. Okay. When you exhale, what are you exhaling? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, right. Your body uses the oxygen, but it doesn't need the carbon dioxide. Well, this is the solid form of carbon dioxide, and you notice I'm not just holding it in my hand. And that's because for carbon dioxide to be a solid, it has to be taken down to a temperature of 110 degrees below zero. Okay? 110 degrees below zero. It is so cold that if I were to touch it, it would burn my finger. Okay? That's how cold it is. So, um, if I leave that sitting there, you would think that um, it would just create a big mess. But really, it doesn't. Because... It's going from a solid over to a gas. It's never in the liquid phase, and we call that sublimation. And so there are all these really neat phase changes, melting, freezing, liquid to solid. Um, sublimation is really good. But what I like to do with this is an experiment that involves film canisters, and I have quite a few up here. So what I'm going to do... Yes, you can move back. <laughs> I showed him this earlier, and he doesn't appreciate the loud noises we're going to be making. So let's test this experiment. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pieces of dry ice in each of these film canisters here. This is called the exploding film canister, by the way. You don't want to miss it. Let's listen and watch. You don't want to miss it. Now, I will just tell you that there may be um, some dry ice that gets close to you. So please don't touch it because I don't want anybody to get burned or anything. And, um, you know, if, if you have a piece land in front of you, just kind of wave your hand and I'll come get it. What do you think? It's scary. It's gonna explode. It's gonna explode. Oh. 
Okay, this is probably it. So I'm going to put the lids on these, and then I'm going to get out of the way. Um, by the way, the film canisters may land next to you too, so if you would, hang on to those and give them to me when I'm done at the end of the uh, presentation so that I have these. These are getting hard to come by because everybody's on digital cameras now. happening here is the pressure the pressure is building up inside those canisters as the gas builds up in there because remember it it's inside that canister and just like with the egg when we had pressure building up on the outside it forced the egg down this is the reverse the pressure is building up inside the canister to the point that when it's strong enough it pushes that lid right off and it goes shooting way up in the air that is some strong force and again in this case um, uh, the, the temperature again is being changed it's changing the pressure inside there so that's that's really cool and eventually this one will go blowing <laughs> off probably at some point and scare us all um, that's assuming that I've got the lid down on there, good. which it looks like it is. So, anyway, all right, you can come sit back down. 